Hey everyone, Dr. Greg here. I've got a quick video for you today. So I'll treat a lot of patients that have knee and ankle pain from running and walking activities. One of the first things I'll do with these patients is screen his or her hip stability. If my hip isn't strong enough to absorb my force going through my leg, then I'm going to have added pressure on my knee and ankle. You know what they say about one weak link in a chain. So here are three quick and easy things you can do today at home to screen your own hip stability. Okay, so here we go. So Jazz is gonna be our uh, test subject here and she's gonna perform a single leg squat. So all you need at home is a chair. So she's gonna slowly control her lowering into the chair and you can see her right knee is staying in the same position in alignment demonstrating good control of her right hip. So now she's gonna switch and demonstrate what it might look like if you have some weakness in the left hip. So you can see her knee was kind of moving about side to side a little bit, indicating some weakness in the left hip. Okay, so Jazz is performing exercise number two. And at home, you can just use a step. This is a four inch step, so you might wanna use something a little shorter than your uh, normal step on a staircase. But what she's doing is doing a single leg squat with showing lateral control. And you can see her right knee is not moving excessively. She has good control as she steps down slowly. And she's gonna switch now to the other side and demonstrate what it might look like with an unstable hip. So you can see her right hip is dropping lower than her left hip, indicating left hip weakness. And finally, test number three. So Jazz is gonna perform a bridge and straighten one leg out. So she's stabilized right now. Her right hip is showing good strength and control. And now she's gonna switch and demonstrate it, what it might look like if you have some weakness in the left hip. So the right hip drops. So that shows that she has weakness in that left hip. So try each of these activities out and assess how your stability is. You may notice a difference between the right side and the left side, or you may, may notice one specific task is more challenging than the others. Either way, if you're noticing hip instability, feel free to contact myself or one of our other physical therapists, and we can set up a customized program for you to get you back to running and walking with less symptoms. This method tends to take a little bit longer, but it tends to have more lasting effects than a medication or a steroid injection. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.